Claire grew up in an age where um, Jackie Robinson was breaking the color barrier. She had a love of baseball anyway, but then she had a love of baseball for Jackie Robinson. Baseball was always Claire's passion, and it wasn't always an easy path for women covering the sport. But what became clear to the people she covered right from the start was that Claire did her homework. Uh, she was prepared, uh, she understood the sport, she grasped the strategies, she understood the history, and she was fair, she was accurate, and she asked informed questions. She's a storyteller. She is someone who takes in information, synthesizes in a very beautiful and compelling way. She loves baseball. She sees the magic in it. She had to really fight. She was really paralleling Title IX. She was doing in the real world for pro sports and baseball what the United States had done for female athletes, except Title IX was the law. The most notable story was in the 1984 uh, National League playoffs. And uh, at that time, the American League had mandated that clubhouses would be open to all reporters, including women. But the National League had left it up to individual teams. When I went in for the playoff game at Wrigley Field, the Padres threw me out. Uh, one of their uh, club employees literally put his hands on me, mm. pushed me out. Claire was adamant about her right uh, to be in that locker room. It was a great victory for women reporters. It was an inspiration, I think, to women sports writers everywhere. Claire has an almost zen-like calm. She just makes you feel comfortable and at ease the moment she walks into a room and gives you that great smile. Claire always had this understanding that any door she walked through, there were others who were going to benefit and who were going to walk through, perhaps even run through those doors after her. She was an African American in a white man's world. She was a woman in a man's world. And she dealt with that with grace and dignity. Claire has given great guidance to our production teams, particularly with complicated off-the-field stories. You could always count on her to tell you that word doesn't work, that story isn't right, that photo isn't right. Philadelphia's home and the roots are deep. It's where she went to school, got her first job. It's where she learned her craft. It's where she returned to the Philadelphia Inquirer. Philly is loyalty and Claire has loyalty coming out her ears. She's tough, Philly's tough, Philly's rough, Claire's rough. Philly is smart, Claire is smart. Philly knows what it wants, but it takes its time getting there. Claire knows what she wants and she's taking a good time to get there and she's done a great job.